Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today we're going to do twig, twig, <laughs> two quick DIYs for our spring tablescape. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to give you the items that you need and then I'm going to change the view so you can see what I'm doing. So for the first um, DIY, you're going to need some wooden eggs or you can have plastic eggs. Um, but some form of eggs. These are um, wooden ones and I got them from the Target dollar spot and it was $3 a piece. Um, and I purchased two packs because I needed eight. You're also going to need some acrylic paints. And I got this pack, Craft Smart. It's either from Michaels or Walmart. And I'm going to use these two colors right here, the yellow and the teal. So um, that's what you need for the first one. And also, I'm probably going to Mod Podge them so the paint will not get chipped and come off. For the second DIY, you're going to need Mod Podge. Um, some spray paint of your choice. I'm using yellow because you know that's in my tablescape. Uh, tablescape scheme. Some bling wrap, of course. Some scissors. And some of the Dollar Tree um, ceramic candle holders. Uh, I mean, yeah, candle holders. Or they might be. They might be um, coasters, but I think they're candle holders. But anyway, some of these. You're also going to need a plate. This is my handy dandy plate. I use it for my podge paint and my rhinestones. Something to place your eggs on once they're painted. Some paper towels. Hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. So, let's get started. It, I, I had to say that that's my one of my favorite youtubers that's how she opens up her um her her videos and her name is petal is blessed um and she has a youtube channel here and she does awesome work so if you haven't subscribed to her channel um go ahead over there and subscribe to it and show her some love i'll leave a link to their um, channels in the description bar and so if you want to see how to create these eggs and what I do to this um, coaster then just continue to watch okay well the first thing you're going to do of course is spray paint um, your coasters and then I am going to put my podge on them on the front front part and on the sides I won't put it at the bottom just so that the paint won't get chipped and so I'm going to do that and sit this off to the side to dry and then while they're drying we're going to move on to the second DIY and come back to um, this one so I'm going to just pour a little bit out I'd be afraid that I'm going to pour too much out with this big jar. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to water it down some. But then you just paint on your Mod Podge. All right. And you would do all how many ever you need for your taste table place settings you would do all those and set them off to dry so I have one already that we're going to jump onto while that's drying so then you have um, your coaster once it is um, dry and it wouldn't be me if I didn't add some bling let me see what two looks like. See if I could find a two strand one. I'll cut this small one. So 
So I think I like the two strand because it's not too overpowering and it's just enough bling to um, set it off. So we're going to go with two strands. So now I'm going to cut some of my threes down to twos. All right, so we have our two strands and we're gonna measure it out because we're not going to curve it, we're gonna measure it. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Then we're gonna take our hot glue Hubby and I just got back from date night. So I figured I would show you guys myself on camera since I had my face looking decent. And we're just going to glue it down. You want it to hang up just a little bit so it can cover both the edges and the inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one around it. So we're gonna do that all the way around the dish. Measure, cut, glue. And right here on the corners, so that we can make sure that this little area right here is covered up, we're going to Place one of the beads from the second strand on top of the bling from the last row, just like this. So we're going to overlap them. Now, this first strand is off. So you see how the second strand is half up here and half down here? That's how we want the whole tray to look. So I'm gonna do all the size and I'm gonna speed it up so that the video won't be really long. you have it now it's all blinged out and it's in the color coordination um, of the table scheme so that's the end of the first DIY and once um, they're finished the um, Mod Podge will give it a shiny film and yeah you just complete um, repeat that process for all of the um, other um, holders okay so now on to the second DIY which is just as easy now I have little things that these are going to sit in on the table so I'm going to do four blue and four yellow so all you want to do is take your paintbrush and paint the egg. You may have to put two coats, two or three coats on it, but I just want a pale looking. And you can um, jazz it up. If you know how to make it look like quail eggs, you can do that. Um, if you want doing it for Easter, you can do this project with children and you know they can write Happy Easter on it 
If you got stickers, you can put the stickers on it and then put Mod Podge on top of it. So that's what I'm going to do with these. After these dry completely, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put Mod Podge on them and seal them in. And you want to try to go in the same direction when you're painting. That will give you less streaking or less waste of paint. And after you finish painting it, you're going to set it off to the side and you're going to let that layer of paint dry. And if you want to, you can go back with a second or third coat of paint. So I'm going to do all four to one color first. And you know what, guys, I could have left it just like in the regular color because you know I have the rust, I wanted the glam and country rust, um, rusted look. And this could have went perfect with the burlap and stuff that's going to be on the table. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and do two blue. And these colors are um, Pruda, oh, Pale Blue, I had to find the English, and Light Yellow. So those are the colors. So I just wanted to come and give y'all a quick DIY. I wanted to try to make sure that I show you guys everything that I'm doing to create this table, the small and the big things. So this, I figured I can put both of these in one video. Okay guys, so I'm going to do my closing while I'm still painting. Um, Give this video a big thumbs up as y'all always do. Leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. And if you have a suggestion on how to um, hold these eggs when you're painting, um, what can I sit them on to hold them up while I'm painting, please leave that down in the comment section because I know I, it won't be the last time I paint some. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and share. And if you're not a part of our family, our YouTube family, because that's what we are here on Design on a Dollar, we are a family. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll never miss an upload and i reply back to all your comments so that's all you would do and you would wait until the paint dries and if you need another coat put another coat on so i will see you guys in my next video bye